Capri. Um, look, I can't find my old camera stand, so we had a face to face. Normally, you're like up here, today, we like right here. And also, remember, I live next to a highway, so cue the background noise. It's not my fault. Um, what we're gonna talk about today is something very, very exciting. So I don't know if I talked about this on my channel or not. Oh, also, please excuse the closure because I told you guys about this thing and I have yet to gel it or lay it down. So, and my blush is looking like a clown on camera, but in real life, it's all appropriate. So, but anyways, I don't know if I talked about this on my channel or not, but I was in the process of buying some braiding hair. Um, and as I did my research, I came across a UK based brand called Cat Face. There are a few videos here on um, YouTube, not a lot, um, and also some of them, or most of them that are talking do happen to have that, you know, accent, which um, me personally, I don't mind. I think that, um, you know, I think that it's cool. So, I came across a brand named Catface, I went on their website. And while I was doing my search for some box braided hair, I found this very, very, very interesting hair that I really wanted to have. I saw one girl do it on YouTube. If I can find the video, I will link it down below. But her hair was like pink, going into like a blue type of like purplish ombre, and it was braiding hair. And I'm like, this is so cool. I go to click on the link, and she's in, in the description box. It was saying how the hair wasn't wasn't selling because it didn't pass their standards like she was like testing it out and like the hair didn't pass their standard standards or something that was just utterly ridiculous um so I looked everywhere I looked on Aliexpress looked on Amazon looked everywhere for some Kanekalon ombre hair that had these specific colors that she had in the video and I couldn't find them anywhere so fast forward to where I um found a brand cat face and um I went on their website and they did have some ombre hair. They have three-toned ombre and two-toned ombre hair. And they also sell weave, which I haven't tried yet, but I really want to. So I started following them on Instagram and I came across this photo of this hair. And I was like, if you guys can see it, it's like a lilac going into like a minty and going into a blue. So um, I went on the website and it was like, contact us. So I emailed... I'm sorry, you guys. I have this new nose ring, and y'all know I'm black, so my nose, nostrils like too big for the hoop. But anyway, so I messaged her like in the beginning of September, and I was like, I saw this picture on your Instagram. I really like the hair. I went on your website. I can't find this hair anywhere. What can we do? And she's like, Well, we're not selling that hair until the end of September on our website. And I went on the website like last week, and it wasn't there. I will check again, and if it is there, I will link it down below. She was like, but what I can do for you is custom dye the hair. It will take longer. I will send you an invoice and we can just custom dye it and that therefore you can get the hair. And we exchanged emails almost for two weeks, I would say, because it would take her like a day and a half to respond. And then it would have probably taken like a day to realize that I have an email because I don't check my email that much. And we only did it rude. You have them yelling on top of rude anyways y'all live in the hood i'm sorry anyways so um we responded we were responding like back and forth and um finally she sent me the invoice i paid it it was in like pounds or euros i don't know what they use over there excuse my ignorance but it, it was like 170 when she sent it to me in like the pounds or euros or whatever it's called and then once it got like translated to US dollars was like 180 something because it's like it's like three quarters equal three quarters US equals one dollar UK so like for every four dollars you have to add another dollar on there so it would end up being more than what I thought but whatever she also gave me a custom length I asked her for 36 inches they only sell like 22 and 24 on the website so finally that happened and then a week had went by and I was like, when will it be done? And she's like, well, we'll be done with it in the middle of the week and then we'll send it. It'll take like seven to eight business days for shipping. Okay, cool. 
Now, I don't know if y'all know my history with USPS, but it is not a great one, and I really, really don't like their service when it comes to packages. Everyday mail, cool. Packages, not so much. Um, long story short, she messaged me on the 26th, said that my package was going to be shipped out. I got the tracking number. Today is October 11th. So let's go to our calendar okay can we go to our calendar for one time i'm gonna pull up my calendar because it's that real so we can have a conversation so that's uh let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen days because they decided that it can just sit in customs for about two weeks Whatever. I got my package today. That's all that matters. Also, another cute thing is my real name is not Brie Dupree. I'm sure, I mean, Brie isn't a record whole one name, but it's not my real name. And I thought that it was funny since I was communicating with her through my Brie Dupree email that when she sent me the package, it actually says Brie Dupree. So I thought that was pretty cool. I just exited out my um, address for you guys. So here is the big old package. I think I got like 10 bundles so i haven't opened it up yet so we're gonna open it up together i also asked her if she could lightly dye the roots black to blend my hair because i don't like that whole thing where it's like i have black hair but i'm just gonna wear all pink hair i feel like it's kind of ratchet um but she was kind of like bypassing that i asked her twice in the email and she was like kind of bypassing that i think she was like over the whole emailing conversation thing and just kind of wanted me to pay her and get done with it However, great customer service because I did email them asking them how long it would take and this, that, and the third. And she was very keen on replying to me in a timely fashion. So what I will say about cafes is like the best customer service interaction I've ever had. Just be aware that when you start this process, it's going to take you like a month to get this hair girl. So, um, or I'm opening up the package now. That's why it's loud. At least I hope it's the hair, because if it's not the hair, I'm going to look like an asshole with this video. Let's pull them out. Okay. And another bag. Yay! I love double bags. That's me being sarcastic. I don't really love double bags. Okay, you know what? I'm getting tired of this. Another bag. How many bags can we have, people? How many bags? Finally, we get to the hair. Jesus. It took long enough. I'm just going to take them all out. Oh, it's not over. All right. And then also in the bag, this is the girl who makes cafes, I think. And then... It just says hashtag cat face. Share your hair photos with us. Instagram, Facebook, shop cat face at Gmail, which is how I contacted to them. Also, just go to catface.com. Okay, so here's the hair. Um, I must say, um, let's take one out and just compare it to the photo because I feel like in the photo, the hair looked a little bit more minty. Yeah, in the photo, the hair looks three toned, and here it's looking like she cut out the mint to give me black at the top so let's open one up okay so the top is kind of like a really really dark purple it's not black per se i feel like you can almost see that but i am yeah you can see the difference see this is black this is like a purple but i am happy that she listened to me and didn't make the top darker and then it's purple here, purple here, and not a lot of blue, actually. Not a lot of blue at all. This is like, well, yeah, like the blue is like right here at the ends. So it's kind of more purple than anything, which I mean, I guess I asked it for 36 inches and it actually goes right to like right above my knee like if you were to be wearing like shorts right above my knee area um so when I braid it it probably will end up being um a sufficient long enough 
amount so let's look at the photo because i feel like in the photo the hair is a lot more minty um so let's go back to the photo just pulling it up here yeah okay so let's zoom in let's really get a close-up here the purple looks lighter it looks minty and then it goes into a blue if you guys can see that um and here it's kind of like a darker purple and then like not even the same shade of blue at the ends and i'm not really seeing any mint at all which is really what got me was that lilac into the mint because mint is my favorite color and i'm not seeing any mint at all really i'm just seeing purple that goes into a blue and really puffy ends so confusion there um you know what let's look at all of these let me look at all of these and see if they all look like that because um i really wanted that mint in my life blue blue yeah everything is looking like it's just purple into the blue so if we refer back to the photo she doesn't have black at the roots which is what i asked her but if she was going to if she was not going to put the mint in there she should have said that if i want black at the top then the mint can be put in here because i really didn't want purple into a blue i really wanted purple into a mint into a blue and this is just I'm a little disappointed I'm not gonna lie um especially for the amount of money I paid I've never never once in my life paid hundred and eighty dollars just for some braiding hair the most is maybe sixty eighty dollars um let's see how many packs I got I got one two three four five she gave me 13 packs I don't know if I asked for 13 but better had to have too much than not enough um Let's just take this one out of the braid. I'm really disappointed, you guys. I'm not going to lie. I really wanted that mint. You guys know how much I love mint. If you don't know, you will know. Um, speaking of minty things, I just picked up a brush cleaning thing, which this is random. But, I mean, just to give you a hint of how much I love mint, like, I try to find anything I can. Even my fucking... Uh, comb that I use to give me layers is mint even the thing I use to do my eyebrows is mint like mint is just my life and for you to show me mint in a picture for me to send I sent that picture in an attachment and I said I want my hair like this um I feel like you should have done your best to make sure that I had that because it's like she just gave me this black instead of and if i would have known that then i would have been like fuck the black give me the mint and i will just be ratchet at the top for a little while i don't really care um so there is some bad braiding hair going around if you get it off aliexpress and it's really tangly so i just want to make sure that this hair if i were to pull it apart which it's happening doesn't really tangle but it is tangling actually pretty bad um don't know what that is about all I did was take it out of it still has a ponytail heel but all I did was take the braid out and it's like bunched up here and the ends are like really poofy are we seeing the ends really kind of poofy there I'm not gonna lie to you guys I'm really kind of bummed out because I really really wanted that name in my life I mean, I guess I can always just buy some mint braiding hair, but I mean, I already spent all my money. Well, not all my money, but I did spend a pretty penny on this hair. Um, Like, literally, it's like just this much blue. So once it's braided, since, you know, it, braiding takes off some of the length, it's going to be like legit like six inches of blue in fucking... I am just getting lip gloss stuck in my hair and it's pulling it up. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm sorry this is so unprofessional right now. 
But I mean, we can all take a moment to appreciate my fall look because my lip gloss is popping. My lip gloss is cool. All the boys keep jocking. They chase me out to school. So I don't know what to say about that. Um, but anyways, eh, let's try to pull, let's try to pull some apart. Cause you know, you know, you girls know that when you go to the brain shop and then they go to pull your hair apart, it might get a little tangle tangled after some time. Yeah. I feel like I'm getting that kind of vibe here. You guys, I'm just really kind of bummed. Um, I don't know how many times I can say it. I am appreciative of the customer service. Um, and then I got a lot of hair. I don't appreciate how long it took. So just keep that in mind that your package will be in customs for a long time. But I just don't appreciate the poor listening skills. Especially when I send you a picture that you... So you've made the hair before. Like, if it's on your Instagram and I tell you I want this hair and you say, well, this hair is not out yet. You know what I almost feel like? Pause. Okay, I was gonna say it reminds me of another one of their braiding hair, um, but it's it's not. Is I got it reversed, but look at this one. It looks like they set me this hair and then just put some blue at the bottom of the six inches, and then it also reminds me of sort of I I I got it confused, but this is the one I thought that it kind of reminded me of is this purple to pink. Um, but that's what it looks like. They took that hair and then just added the like six inches of poofy blue stuff. So, and it's not even really blue. Like in the sun, it's looking more like a teal or like an aquamarine. It's not even looking blue. Like this looks nothing like my photo, you guys. Honestly, she got, she got the last three inches of the blue right and like over here and that's pretty much about it it's not even the same shade of purple maybe it's because it's not in the sunlight i don't know i feel like it's not even the same shade of purple the mint is not even there so i mean i'm still gonna wear it because i paid enough that much money for it but i guess if you guys buy it off the website you won't have these problems so what i say is just Go to the website, see if you like their hair. I'm not going to get my hair braided right now. I'm still going to make that ombre hair and um, into a wig, which I have not done yet. And um, wear that for a while and then I'll go ahead and do these braids. Probably after Halloween, I'll go ahead and do these box braids. So, just wanted to come at you guys with a, uh, what I thought would be a real quick video but has now turned into a 20 minute long video because of the fact that we can't look at pictures and translate them in real life even though we did it already because it was on somebody else so whatever um maybe if i braid it maybe when i start braiding it makes that shade i don't know i hope you guys enjoyed this video um I see that we're almost at 20 subscribers, which is so cool. You don't know how long I've been waiting to get to 20 subscribers. Um, once I get to 100, I'm planning on probably doing something like a giveaway or something of the sort. So make sure you share my videos with your friends and make sure you subscribe to my videos. And I appreciate you guys and I will see you very, very shortly in my next video. Okay, bye.